G'day Luke from the Bearded Bush Ranger here. In today's video I'm going to show you how you can carry what looks like a traditional bed roll but actually turns out to be a modern day camping hammock. G'day everyone, welcome back to another video. And so today I'm in a little patch of bushland just uh, at the back of our property. And uh, I'm in a nice little gully here. There's a bit of a creek that runs into a bit of an open dam. And I can actually see my little bushcraft build up the top there from all the way down here. But uh, today's video, what I want to do is I want to use this bedroll, that what looks like a traditional bedroll. And I've actually got a new hammock in here. So yeah, I'm going to find two sturdy trees, hang this up. I've got a woolen blanket for tonight, have a bit of a cook up, and uh, yeah, let me see if I can set this thing up. So here's my bedroll set up. One thing you'll notice is this strap that I've used is actually the hammock straps. So I've used this as my uh, shoulder strap to carry the, the swag or the bedroll. And if I roll that out, woolen blanket for tonight, and in here, I've got my hammock. So I'm going to go set this hammock up now. Oh, I've got this black wattle here, and this native frangipani, and uh, I think these are, these are sturdy enough to put a hammock around, so I'm going to do that for these. Yeah, she feels strong. Pretty good. There we go. It's hot now, but it'll get cold tonight. So because I'm in a gully with a bit of water, obviously a lot of mosquitoes here at night. So I'm going to set the bug net up. First I'm going to run a ridge line across here. And I'll touch this to the ridge line. So now that this is all set up, I thought I'd just have a bit of a yarn and let you know where this hammock is from. So this is, for those of you who don't know or haven't uh, recognised, this is the Alton Good Ultralight Hammock Setup. And this is my first time using it. And I think this was their original product, uh, the Alton Goods, that they came out with when they started up. And uh, they sent this out to me, they were kind enough to do that. And I actually was up at the Alton Goods headquarters in Brisbane just recently. I got interviewed for the Alton Edit uh, by Matsy from the Silly Swagman. And that was basically because of my channel, Luke's Little Tribe. So uh, I know a lot of uh, Luke's Little Tribe audience have probably come over here to the Bearded Bush Ranger to subscribe here. But for those of you who have subscribed to the Bearded Bush Ranger and you didn't know, I had an original channel, I have an original channel that I started called Luke's Little Tribe. 
and that's all about taking kids outdoors. Uh, I've got three little kids and I love getting them outdoors, doing wild camping and hiking with them. Not so much, you know, all the swagman stuff over there. It's more, you know, I take modern camping gear with the kids and just get them outdoors. So if you're into that, if you're a parent and you're, you've got kids, uh, it's very kid friendly. Kids can watch those videos as well. Feel free to head on over to Luke's Little Tribe and uh, yeah, and, and have a watch of that. I'll put a link in the description to Luke's Little Tribe channel. And if the Alton Edit is out when this video comes out, I'll also put a link in the description so you can watch that interview and get a bit of a background uh, on, on yeah why I do this and how I got into all this camping stuff. So it's going to be a good night out here tonight. It's warm right now, but it's meant to get cold tonight. So I'll see how I go with just the woolen, the woolen blanket. But um, I'm going to have a cook up and it's going to be a good cook up. All right, it's about time for a cook up. Now, tonight I'm gonna to be cooking up some broccolini, and I also have a tenderloin, uh, hind tenderloin of a fallow deer, which was actually shot just here, uh, just on our property up there. So there's a lot of deer that move through here at night time, and um, sometimes we get shooters in, and they shoot them, and they give us a bit of meat. So it's great to actually cook up some meat that was harvested from this bushland here. Alrighty then, now I'm going to be trying out this little twig stove that I have. I don't want to make a, a fire here uh, tonight because it is actually, we're not, we're still, we're having a late summer basically and um, just out of respect of being on this property, uh, you know, the burn off, burn off season doesn't start to a few more weeks so I'm going to do the twig stove and just leave it at that, not have a fire. You know, I could have a fire here in the winter time, but yeah. So anyway, I'm going to set this, this twig stove up and see how it goes. So, I like this little area. I think this is where roos come and, come and uh, hide in the, or lay down in the dust. But um, because there's, it's already cleared of leaf litter in here, this is where I'm going to do the twig stove, just so I can make sure it's nice and safe. Now, this is just a cheapo twig stove that I've had for a while. I've never t tested it, but you can get a good uh, one from Alton Goods, which is quite lightweight, probably more lightweight than this, so I'd recommend that one. But uh, let's get this thing lit. Chuck a bit of oil in there. They work good, these pig toes. Bit of salt. Mmm. 
venison. Bloody good, mate. This patch of bush is teeming with life actually at night time. Uh, some of the wildlife I've seen in here, I mean I've seen introduced pests like samba deer, fallow deer, foxes, uh, but some of the native wildlife, there's black wallabies in here, there's roos, there's um, ringtail possums, brushtail possums, we get wombats, so yeah quite a variety of uh, wildlife moves through this patch of bush that I'm camping in so it's just nice to be out here a lot of bird life as well obviously so I wonder what will be moving in the night around me who knows It's getting dark now, I might just listen to some music or a podcast on the uh, on my phone because I'm not going to have a fire tonight. But uh, hopefully it's a comfy night, hopefully the wool blanket is enough to keep me warm.
So some some thoughts on my setup. I really like it. I love the old the, the idea of carrying it like a traditional bed roll, and then you roll it out and you've got a modern uh, hammock camping setup. I think this is something that I'll experiment with in the future, and actually take it on some uh, bigger hikes, maybe out to some state forest or something like that. So it's, the hammock is great for areas like this where you know they've got a lot of dense undergrowth. You can't really pitch it tent or roll your swag out really so the hammock is just fantastic for this kind of uh, environment you know woolen blankets let me say woolen blankets they're not as you know they're not that great but they're not that bad let me put it that way they're, they're not warm like a sleeping bag but they do give a little bit of insulation and warmth and the old fellas used to use the woolen blankets so if it's good enough for them it can be good enough for me otherwise I'm gonna finish up this tea that I've cooked up here, my little billy, and just enjoy the uh, sounds of the bush in the morning and pack up and, and head back home. Well that's it for this video, if you've enjoyed seeing how you can make a traditional bed roll and turn it into a modern day hammock camping setup then make sure you give this video a like. Give me a comment just to show that you've enjoyed the video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the channel because I'll be pumping out plenty of videos this year. Thanks everyone, have a good one.